What's going on everyone? It's meteorologist Hunter Ward. It is the afternoon of February 9th and we have our eyes set on the potential for a pretty decent snowstorm in western North Carolina and uh, I've got a snowfall map ready for you. My initial projected snowfall map here might need some adjustments uh, either to the higher end or the lower end as uh, model progression continues to occur and we continue to get a little bit more data before we kind of nail down the exact low track. I told you guys it would be Friday before we would get that all nailed down. But um, we've got a snowfall map for you. I'll go over what the most recent model runs show and uh, we'll just go from there. Turn around to my screen. I want to thank Farm Bureau Insurance Company uh, on uh, <clears throat> Lester Highway. Our featured agent is Sandy, Sandy Parker, and uh, she's my agent. So uh, talk to her today. So CP Cruise and Company as well. Adrian, she can handle all of your tax needs on Hendersonville Highway. Go ahead and uh, get those taxes taken care of. And uh, Patrick McCall with All In Dumpster Rentals. They've got your 10 and your 13 yards. Hit that link on the website, and it'll take you directly where you can schedule and uh, get dumpster delivery pretty much anywhere around uh, western North Carolina. They cover uh, four counties around the area. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's see what we're doing around town. I mean, it's nice. It's 60 degrees. I mean, you wouldn't even know that uh, there's the potential for any snow. Uh, looking at the Better Homes and Gardens real estate Canton camera here in the mill town, it looks nice. I mean, it's just overcast, decent day to sit outside on the porch. Here's the new motion camera there, Better Homes and Garden Realty as well, Bryson City camera, uh, Grimes Tice <clears throat> Anderson camera here in downtown Asheville, BannerElk.com live camera, up in Banner Elk where you're likely to see the, the deer run by. Check out our new camera. Wow, look at that. Beautiful there in uh, downtown Silva. The Ward's Plumbing, Heating, and Air. New uh, downtown Silva camera. Thank you those, to those folks for partnering with us. Lynn Freeman Bush, hands-on camera. So Lynn Freeman Bush Realty, and this is on the uh, hands-on camera. Uh, building down in this is Hendersonville here and you can see that hands-on museum very nice for uh, kids super interactive and uh, lots to do there Blaylock excavation camera here in Waynesville looking at the uh, North Carolina State Agricultural Research Center there Cabbage Rose camera here in Maggie Valley and uh, we'll round it out with the uh, Haywood Community College camera here on, uh, this is US 70 here, or uh, US 74, I'm sorry, going into the uh, Waynesville area. So all the live cams there, you can check those out <clears throat> live, AshevilleWX.com backslash WNC webcam. So uh, let's jump into uh, what we've got coming our way. We've got an upper level low that will be moving through western North Carolina here. Uh, it looks like it's going to start Saturday night. Now, we could start as rain, a little bit of sleet mixed in, possibly some freezing rain. Could be a mixed bag of precipitation, and that's what the models are showing currently. And we'll begin to watch that, begin to see if we've got some progression of the mid-level temperatures. We've got a warm nose that looks to be developing as the system gets a little bit stronger, so we'll watch for that. Got my snowfall map here in just a second, but let's go ahead. I'll show you what the most recent GFS model shows. So run this out. Here you can see that upper level low right here. Then we've got the surface low as well in the Gulf. I'll run this out. Watch as that upper level low begins to catch that surface low. Begins to go negative tilt here later during the day Saturday. Be interesting to watch all this as well on uh, on the uh, radar as well. And so watch as I run this out. Here you go. Check that out. Let's go into a little bit closer view. This thing really gets captured and it really starts ramping up late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Now when exactly snow starts, it's a little bit of an anomaly right now. I'm not exactly sure 
when the snow will start for your backyard. Like I said, it could start as sleet, it could start as freezing rain. A little bit difficult uh, farther south for those areas to get sleet and freezing rain, like Franklin area. So we'll watch for that. And uh, as this runs out, you can see the snow begins to really occur late, uh, late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Run this out just a little bit. And uh, you can see, here we go, just a big deformation feature that occurs. And so it's these are so difficult to predict. The snowfall amounts for dif difficult to permit to, to predict. The accumulation uh, spread is difficult to predict. Yeah, even the track of this upper level low. We could even see some surprises down into portions of South Carolina, even Georgia from these upper level lows. They've been known to surprise. So really got to be careful with this. Um, you know, I'll show you some snowfall maps now. GFS has a similar track to the European model. Let's run that European for you <coughs> one time here as well. Here we run this out. You got your timestamp right here. That's Friday evening. Saturday evening into Sunday, that real strong swath of moisture gets going in the Gulf. Then here we go. This becomes hammer time in western North Carolina. The European model was actually showing the highest amount of snowfall totals. Uh, really, uh, several, several spots saw over a foot on this run. So take that with a grain of salt. <clears throat> We're looking for that model consistency. GFS, I'll show you here. It all it, it showed a uh, eight eight inch snow or so around uh, western North Carolina, and then I'll show you my snowfall map as well. I've, I've gone a little bit conservative, but we'll see. Still time to adjust. Here's what the European model showed, though. I mean, just hammered portions of western North Carolina. I gave all of this, you know well over a uh, 8 to 10 inch snowfall. So we'll watch for that. I, I don't know if this low is going to go that strong. There is a the potential there for it. <clears throat> Let's look at your GFS model as well. All right. So here's what the, uh, we actually have an 18Z of the GFS, and it showed increased snowfall totals there. So also showing some in the Piedmont. So let me go ahead and just pull up my uh, my snowfall map, and then we'll come back and talk about the ensembles here in just a second. Here's my projected snowfall map. I think it's a little bit conservative compared to what some of the models are showing, but I do have time to adjust this, and uh, we may need to go a little bit higher, especially in the Boone area, Banner Elk. Those locations could see a little bit higher snowfall totals than, uh, than what I'm showing. So uh, looking around... You can see we've got Highlands in uh, the 6 to 12 area, Silva in uh, your 3 to 6, all the way down into Murphy. I think that upper level low is really, you know, this is not a, uh, <clears throat> a system where we've got a high pressure that's providing the cold air. Cold air is going to come from a loft. It'll be, uh, you'll get a little bit of dynamic cooling going on as the precipitation gets very heavy. The column will go isothermal or below freezing the entire column of air will go below freezing and then uh, we'll begin to get snow that rain and sleet will switch to snow. I, sick. I expect to see rain to sleet sometime um, 8, 9 o'clock uh, around western North Carolina and then that snow switched over you know, by 4 or 5 a.m. for some areas, high, higher elevations and then the models really show things kicking up by, uh, by the 12Z which would be 8 a.m around western North Carolina. So we'll watch for that. Uh, the, it's a tough time frame. Uh, I'll do uh, two more videos before this system comes in and we'll have to adjust this snowfall map. Maybe one more time. I, I, I'm i thinking if the models continue to show what they're showing, you know, we've got some uh, discontent with the short range models and the European and GFS really agree the uh, the NAM model shows a drying out. I think it's kind of struggling resolving that backside deformation feature that will bring that snowfall through. And, uh, you know, if things, things come to fruition like the European model shows, we'll be talking about things like thunder snow here. And, uh, you know, it could become a dangerous situation 
with this heavy wet snow it's going to be a heavy wet snow it's likely going to stick to everything i think it'll be a beautiful snow but some of these uh i think the ratios might be a little bit lower than uh what what the models are showing so we may have to cut those snowfall totals a little bit lower but looks to be a beautiful snow power outages very possible around western north carolina time to get those preparations you know in place have an alternative heat source make sure you're filling up bathtubs if you're on a well so that you can flush your toilets there's several things that need to be done to uh to prep make sure that you've got food as as well you know this is kind of one of those boomer bust uh forecast with the upper level low we, we get some of our best snows with these upper level lows and there also is a tendency for a forecast to waver some bit so stick with me we'll get this nailed down and uh i'll get you ready for what's coming let's look at uh the ensemble so showed this every now and then but this is the most recent european ensemble look at those snowfall totals so you follow this date on the bottom, the 9th, 10th, the 11th. This is when the snowfall begins. You've got 50 different variations of the model. All but one of them showed some form of accumulating snowfall for the Asheville area. This is at, for the Asheville airport right here. Many of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13 of them showed plus 10 inches of accumulation and many more are right there between that 8 and 10 mark. So around half of them are showing, you know, 8 plus inches of snowfall. Let's look at the, uh, the GFS model just to kind of compare, give you guys a sense of, of what we're looking at here. And that this will, this is kind of just what we do as meteorologists. We take all of our data, we compare it come to a general consensus of what will be possible. So here is the uh, snowfall, oops, my fault. Here we go. All right, same ordeal. GFS model's a little bit lower, some more four to six inch totals in here, one, oh, one over a foot total there for the Asheville airport. So GFS only has 30 ensemble members, so it doesn't get as many uh, lines in there so take this these are these models should be hitting their stride right now we should be getting very accurate data from them so i'll uh adjust my forecast make sure you're making your preparations and uh getting everything done that is necessary so you're not running around on saturday use tomorrow if you can to get yourself prepared check back soon we'll have way more information for you follow along on tiktok twitter all Asheville WX, or TikTok is uh, Asheville WX, Twitter at HV Ward, Instagram at AVLWX, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thanks for coming in.